About three years ago, I decided to try something called blackface. You're not overly stressing, trying to stay cool. No, I didn't really. I did a men's physique show and it required a very, very dark tan. So, about three years ago, I did my first men's physique show. And the reason I wanted to do that was because, as a lot of you guys know, I've been very, very sick. I haven't been able to walk in the past. I've been told that I would probably never be able to run normally again. And I kind of wanted to do it as a big fuck you. I did the show with about three years of natural training under my belt. And as you can see, I look good but I was small. I got very, very small. Another issue was, when I posed, it kind of looked like I had a bit of cerebral palsy. Um, so that wasn't ideal either. Anyhow, despite that, despite being crippled, despite wearing a tight on my stage, and despite posing like I had some neurological disease, I managed to place third, which I was pretty happy about. Now, stepping out on stage in front of hundreds of people is a massive thing for anyone, but it was an especially massive thing at the time for me because I was incredibly insecure about my leg and the condition that I had about my leg and how it looked and having to wear a black leg tight on it. So the whole process of doing prep and actually doing the competition was more about the mindset rather than where I wanted to place on stage and like actually putting myself out there and saying like, fuck you, I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna do this anyway. I might have got hella skinny, but I was in hella good shape as well. And I've been thinking recently, you know, like, I've been really struggling. I haven't been properly shredded in a few years. I'd love to do it again. I'd love to place better. I'd love to do another show. And as my leg is getting worse as I get older, I might not have the opportunity to ever do this again. And that's when I thought, why don't I just do another men's physique show? Starting point. I'm kind of fat, okay? So I've started off quite fat. I'm the heaviest I've ever been at 207 pounds. I have naturally thick abs, so it's kind of hard to see how fat I am, but this is kind of the only video that you can really see, like, how much body fat I'm holding. And just because I have muscular abs, it gives the illusion that I'm less fat than I am. But as you can see, like, I got big old fat man titties. Um, you could fucking milk those. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, I'm pretty fat. This picture here is kind of like a realistic physique update. I store all the fat on my waist, get massive love handles, get very unimpressive physique. I get a lot of fat around my nipples as well to the point where it looks like I have gyno, which is like what you get from taking steroids. I want to clarify, I don't take steroids. I do not have gyno. But when I lose the fat, it disappears. So it's just fat that is stored around my nipples. But there you go. As you can see, my shoulders look deceptively lean. I'm not lean by any standards. It's just kind of the illusion and the amount of muscle that I've got underneath that makes me look a lot leaner. And this was about two weeks before I finished my bulk. So there you have it, boys. I'm competing. I'm getting absolutely dick skin diced. I'm still to go out. I'm still to the party, but I'm gonna get shredded as well. I wanna show you that you can kind of live life and still have an absolutely mental physique. This is the start of my competition prep. So I've already been on the diet for two days and I've lost approximately one to two pounds, but that weight is just gonna be water. I probably looked a little bit fatter a few days ago, but this, is where my physique is currently at, at the start of my diet. Week one, I'm gonna be fucking shredded, I'm telling you right now. I'm gonna have the best physique that I've ever had. 35.5 inches on the waist. Just woken up in the morning, so no pump. Arms cold. Just under 17 flexed. But do not worry, I will be fucking shredded, I'm telling you right now. I will be absolutely diced on this same spot in 14 weeks time and I will have the best physique of my life. And people are gonna be like, steroids, he's on steroids. Right, so there you go. I'm already a few days into the cut right now, so I've lost some water weight. Like, the main thing that's going to happen, first of all, is you're going to drop a lot of water weight as your body begins to use up those glycogen stores. Glycogen stores water with it. The molecule glycogen is made by absorbing water. So when you break down glycogen, you're going to look a lot flatter. You're going to look a little bit smaller, and it's not going to be great. But dropping water weight can actually make you look leaner. So this is the rough starting point anyway. And like I said, guys, I kind of have this, like, deceptively lean physique. Like, from certain angles, was I can get away with looking deceptively lean just because my abs are very thick. I actually train abs, so I actually have ab muscles there. And it just means that I will hold some form of abs regardless of how fat I get. So it can kind of make me look a bit lean than I actually am. The main thing on this prep right is going to be nailing the posing. Like the posing is what let me down last time. Like I said, I looked like I had Parkinson's or um, what's it called? Cerebral palsy, the thing that that chick of Tracy Beaker has.
So there you have it. The beard is gone. Prep has begun. Summer shredding has started. First thing I want to say is I haven't actually got a series name for this. I do have a couple of ideas, but like I want, I need a name for this series, like Hard Body Shredding or Christian Guzman Summer Shredding. So if you guys have any ideas, that's my boy Jake, absolutely killing it at the minute. Let me know. Like hit me up, say it down below, and if I use your idea. I will send you some warps for free. So if you've got any decent ideas, comment down below, or I'm just gonna make up one. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm fat as fuck starting off. Like now we're a couple of weeks deep into prep. This is a video from the other day. Um, and I'm just gonna get more regular V uploads and actually show you stuff as it goes. So. 14 weeks of prep. The game plan is to get ready early. As I could, like, if you want to get like super, super shredded, like ideally you should have probably like 16 weeks, but I want to do it a little bit shorter, just to bulk a little bit longer, add some more calories in. And, uh, and yeah. So I've actually got a coach on this prep. Last prep, I did everything by myself, and I'm perfectly capable of doing it by myself. But the reason I wanted a coach for this was because, like, I wanted to know what steroids said. Now, joking. <laughs> no, I don't take any steroids. <laughs> was because um, it's good to have, like, another set of eyes on you. When you get to, like, a certain level of body fat, your body is literally in starvation mode. You, your body thinks you are dying. It wants to, like, do absolutely anything it can, everything possible, to, like, make sure that you're, you gain this body fat and gain the body Body fat reserves because if we're like in the wild, it would be a death sentence if you got to like four, five, six percent body fat, like and a cold night and you're gone, you're dead. So, as you can see here, like, like I was saying, I'm already a couple weeks into prep, I'm probably about two hanging around 200 pounds here, so I lost about seven pounds. Most of that's gonna be water weight, but now we are really starting to shift fat off. But um, going back to the coach thing, yeah, so I've got a coach because your mind basically will start to play tricks on you. Like, you'll be like, oh, maybe I need this extra bit of food. You'll start to, like, make up and justify how you, like, need extra food and all this shit when you actually don't. Or you you become, like, used to your physique. And it's it's basically what I'm saying is it's good to have another opinion from someone else. And that's why I've got a coach on this prep. I'm getting coached by Josh Bridgman, a friend of mine, and one, because I know the physique that he's achieved is absolutely incredible naturally. And I know that he's natural because he's just started taking steroids and he's just started documenting everything on YouTube. The channel's really interesting. Check it out. And he's a very smart guy. Like, he knows what he's doing. He knows his shit. We do things very, very similarly. Like, I watch his videos anywhere, see what he says, and, like, I agree with a lot of the things that he says and how he does diet and how he sets things up. So, I thought it would be great to go with him and uh, I am being coached by Josh Bridgman, which should be sick. So... Let's talk things like cardio. I'll do a whole separate video on macros if you want it. But things like cardio, okay? We're, we're not, like, the dumbest thing you can do, right? I see so many people doing this. So many people doing this. It's starting a comp prep or starting a shred and just doing, like, 40 minutes of cardio every day or 40 minutes of cardio every other day or half an hour of cardio, whatever it is. Like, cardio is a tool. It is a tool to be added in. You don't just start, you don't put all your cards on the table and just try and do everything at once, you know. So we started off just by reducing some calories, making sure I get 10,000 steps per day. Weight gains, weight loss slowed a little bit in the, after, after uh, the first like 10 days. So then Josh added in some cardio, 20 minutes of cardio twice a week. Low intensity, steady state walking. That is it. That is all we are doing. Like, obviously, the duration of cardio, the longer you're doing cardio for, you are going to start to, like, eat into some of your gains um, and the intensity of the cardio as well. So that's why I do, like, low-intensity stuff, so stuff like walking. I'm just going to be doing literally incline walking on a treadmill. So that is a game plan. We're going to be quite aggressive with the calories because we've only got 14 weeks. They're going to go down very quickly. I'm on about 2,007, 2,800. Fat is fairly low on training days. I'll go down to like 2,003, 400 calories, reduce the carbohydrates, increase the fat, then protein around 200 grams throughout. Like I do a whole proper video on this if you're interested. But um, we are using carbohydrates as a source of energy. Like there's no point in going like keto or low. I think keto is dumb unless you are on steroids or unless you want to lose muscle mass. But we are positioning our carbohydrates around when we work out. We're using them as required. And like, as you can see, like, the shape that I'm in now, like, in this few weeks from this video, is fucking good. Like, I've, I've been doing bits, you know, like, lifts are still going up. There's no reason why in the first few weeks, the first few months, providing that training is good and you're training hard, that your lifts should not keep on increasing and progressing. I want a new split, so I'm currently training two days off one day on, no, two days on, one day off, and every set is till failure. Like, it's incredibly high intensity, but that's pretty much how I trained anyway before this. Like, I just didn't, I was basically doing like four sets and everything, and the last two sets would be top sets, which would be till 
like till failure. Most exercises are only two sets, but both of those two sets are to, to failure, and then I'll work up to it. But um, but yeah, anyway, that's kind of where we're at. Sitting around 200 pounds at the minute, lost about seven pounds, and regular videos are on their way. The amount of times I've said that, like, <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, like, this bulk was a success, boys. Like, I really wanted to focus on bringing up my chest, that was the main point, and chest has come up wonderfully. Calves have come up as well, like, I actually trained calves, and uh, but the biggest thing, like, is just chest. Like, I'm so happy with the progress I've made on my chest. Like, I added a load more volume, did loads more, like, upper chest movements, and, um, and it's been sick. It's been sick. Trust me, guys. In a few weeks' time, I know there's a few doubters anyway, but in a few weeks' time, um, I'll be getting comments left, right, and center about how I'm on steroids, you know? It's so funny. Like, even when I bulk as well, I get those as well. Like, oh, you've got gyno. Well, watch as my quote-unquote gyno magically disappears like it does in every cut because it's not gyno, it's fat. Like, so, um, yeah, so give it a few weeks and everyone will be saying that I'm running gear. Maybe I am running gear and I'm just using this as like a, um, what's the word, where you, making you think that everyone's, like, predicting it when in fact I'm actually starting to take gear. <laughs> no, I'm not really. No Psalms, no steroids. Uh, I'm taking your Himbine, just start taking your Himbine in a minute. And I am tempted to take Clen, just kind of want to feel it because it's a really strong stimulant. Um, it's not steroidal, so it doesn't have any of the same side effects or long-term effects. But, um, I'll look into that and if I do decide to take it, I will let you know and I will make a couple of videos on it because I'm kind of interested. But anyway guys, when the doubters for the steroids come, we know we are doing something right. And like, it doesn't even really trigger me. Well, it does trigger me slightly, but the only the only reason it triggers me is because of self-limiting beliefs, you know. Like, uh, people set these beliefs and they set these reasons that they can't be a certain thing or they can't get to a certain physique or they can't achieve a certain thing financially or blah, 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 blah. Because anyone else that has done that has an unfair advantage of their cheating. It's this like fucking victim mentality that the 21st century is so full of. And especially this generation, you know. It just triggers the fuck out of me. Like, fuck your excuses. Like, everyone's got their problems. Everyone's got their issues. And saying that someone's only achieved something or justifying your own failures as to why someone has achieved something because they must be cheating. Or because, like... They're, they're using steroids because they're cheating, like, blah, 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 blah. I, I'm never going to be able to get to that because they have an unfair advantage. You're literally, that's a shit mentality, you know. You're going to achieve nothing, absolutely nothing in your life with a mentality like that. Fair enough if you want to do, like, averagely and never excel, like, beyond average. But, like, you've got you've to focus on you. Like, fuck what other people are doing. Fuck what other people's limits are. Unless you literally think, like, look at someone and think, like... Yeah, like, this guy's getting physique is better than mine, it's incredible, and I believe he's natty. Like, people are gonna have, uh, I hate doing this, like, Michael Hearn talk. Michael Hearn isn't natty, by the way. I don't believe he's natty. <laughs> people are gonna have better physiques than you naturally. Fucking accept it, even if you take gear. Focus on you, look at your past physiques, look how you can improve. Focus on your strong points, and um, I'm going on for way too long. But, Shredding Series, that was the first episode. Let me know what you want to see next week. I hope you enjoyed it. Love you to bits. Keep healing, guys. Peace out. Bye.